Oh, hey, hi. I'm Chris at Chris and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. This 12 inch rim is actually a meter and oh yeah, I'm going over today's science file. In today's science file, it says, how can I make a herdometer? Well, A, that's a pretty wicked cool question. So B, try this. You will need a 12 inch bike rim, some yarn, and a measuring tape. Whoa! How can you possibly say that a 12 inch bike tire rim is actually a full length meter? That doesn't even make any sense, Chris. 12 inches doesn't even equal, doesn't, it doesn't even equal like a, a full meter. It's like, it's not even like, it's not even like a half a meter. Right? It's like, you gotta be, you kidding me, Chris. You gotta, I, I'm gonna prove to you that a 12 inch bike tire actually is a meter. So, the first thing you need is, of course, a 12 inch rim. Otherwise, what's the point of proving that it's a meter? Ha <laughs> ha! Next, you're gonna get yourself some string. I got my string from a place that sells string. Ha <laughs> ha! You're gonna take your string and you're gonna wrap it around the outside of your bicycle rim, and then when the two ends touch, you're gonna clip the string off. Now set your bike tire aside, but keep your string real close. Because next you're gonna get yourself one of these tape measures. You're gonna take your tape measure and you're gonna stretch it all the way out to about a hundred centimeters. Now you're gonna take the string you just cut and you're gonna line it up against the tape measure a lot like this. Oh, now that's pretty wicked cool, but hey, here's the question. How can a 12 inch diameter bike tire actually equal a full meter all the way around? Well, hey, don't look at me, take a closer look at this. People decided to measure distance with wheels, which roll over the ground and it can be counted as it spins. If we multiply 12.6 by 3.14, we get 39.56 inches around the outside of the wheel or the wheel's circumference. If we convert these inches over to metric, we get one meter. Not only can we measure distance and area with this system, we can also measure the volume of an object as well as its weight or mass. So now you know more about circumference. You know, being able to measure things in meters using nothing more than your bike is why science is so wicked cool.